Uh, my name is Jane Kim, and we're in the clinical center <laughs> in one of the cubicles here. Our lab studies uh, uveitis, which is inflammation of the uvea, which is basically the inner parts of the eye. There are multiple or, or few uh, population-based studies on the epidemiology of uveitis in the U.S., but there are none in, in children. And so um, we're trying to determine what the epidemiology, the characteristics, the risk factors, the general trends of uveitis in children are in the United States. And so we're working with the Children's National Medical Center um, to better characterize uh, uveitis um, in children here. And we're also planning on working with Kaiser and looking at the private sector as well. So hopefully the impact that we can have is that um, we can find out what these are, what these characteristics and risk factors are so that we can intervene earlier um, and treat these children. So I grew up in Los Angeles, California. Um, my parents were not in uh, research at all or in the health sciences or, or medicine. Um, my parents immigrated from Korea um, and were just kind of uh, working in furniture manufacturing and um, kind of more graphic design type of um, work. And so my interest in science first came from going to classes and, and realizing that like this like science is very interesting. Um, so when I went to college, I majored in molecular cell and developmental biology. Uh, the reason why I decided to apply to medical school though, instead of going to just a PhD program was that um, during my research time, I realized how much more clinicians know about how the human body works and what's more relevant um, to uh, what's needed out there in the clinic or amongst patients. And so that kind of drew my interest into applying to medical school and becoming a doctor who actually does uh, research as well. I'm, I work on multiple projects here and I think that's kind of one of the good things about working here is that um, I get to not just do my own project that I'm leading but also help other people working on their different projects. Hi, Dr. Hassan. Hi. Hi, Jane. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. I just had a quick question about no some of the clinical exam findings. Because of that, I interact with a lot of different people, um, especially some of the clinical fellows who have already gone through um, ophthalmology training and are now in their UVI to specialty training. I get to contribute my expertise, but they also get to contribute their um, wonderful expertise. Mm -hmm. does, that, does that help a little? Yeah, that really answers my question. Thanks. So um, we are in Washington, D.C., and so a lot of the uh, museums are free, and I actually like to go to the, some of the museums, so um, I frequent the museums often. Uh, there's also uh, a lot of hiking around here as well, um, and so I really, from being from California, I really like the outdoors, so I try to um, do that as much as I can. With research um, and uh, actually a lot of things in life, I feel as though there's not, there's not a sense of immediate gratification, um, but with everything I think we, um, we learn something about it um, and, and every little thing, even if it's a failure or a success or what we think is a failure or success, actually leads to some sort of answers and better clues and um, actually contributes to science. And so research sometimes can be a laborious process and can, um, um, can really depend on sometimes other people and it may lead to some frustration, but really at the end of the day, we're all contributing to something um, really great. Or cases you want. I guess the, the best advice that I can give them is to always um, have a goal and, um, and work towards it. Sometimes it may be discouraging because you'll always see someone who's you know, better than you or someone who, um, I don't know, may have had better opportunities and so um, have a lot more on their resume um, than, than you may have. But I wouldn't be discouraged. I would just set my goals and but also be open-minded because sometimes there are opportunities that you may not have thought of or have known um, and just keep on going. Um, that's all I can say. <laughs> just keep on going.